Hey guys, John here at the Mishimoto Garage. Today, we're gonna to be installing the Mishimoto Direct Fit Aluminum Performance Radiator, the Performance Fan Shroud Kit, and the Aluminum Expansion Tank for the 1999 to 2006 BMW E46 non-M models. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive BMW content. Because we're gonna be draining the coolant on our BMW, we highly suggest picking up some Mishimoto's Liquid Chill full synthetic engine coolant. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 10 millimeter socket, T25 Torx socket, quarter drive six inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, a pick tool, a pair of dikes, flat and Phillips head screwdrivers, pop clip tool, a funnel, and Mishimoto's Liquid Chill full synthetic engine cooling. Install time is about four hours, and install difficulty is a four out of five. Raise your BMW with either a lift or a jack and jack stands. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the seven Phillips quarter screws holding the splash shield under your BMW. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the petcock on the expansion tank. Be sure you have a bucket handy. You could remove the expansion tank cap to add in the draining process. Next, use pop clip pliers to remove the three pop clips holding the scoop for the intake. Remove the scoop for your intake. Using a pair of dikes, remove the pop clip holding the expansion tank mounting plate to the fan shroud. Now, remove all the electrical connections for your stock fan shroud. The top electrical connection is for the control box, and the lower electrical connection is for the fan. Make sure you remove both of them. Use a T25 Torx bit to remove the bolt that holds the fan shroud and radiator to your BMW on the passenger side. Now go ahead and remove the fan shroud from your E46. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the warm gear clamp attaching the intake boot to the housing for the mass airflow sensor. Shown here is the Mishimoto air intake. If you have the stock air intake, you will be doing this step a little differently. Remove the air box from your E46. There are three 10 mm nuts holding it in place. Push down on the connection for the mass airflow sensor to release and disconnect it. Disconnect the two clips holding the mass airflow housing to the intake cover. You can do this either by hand or by using a flathead screwdriver. Now, fully remove the air box. There are two 10 mm bolts holding it in place. Next, remove the upper radiator hose from your radiator and expansion tank. For this, you'll need a pick tool and a flathead screwdriver. This is going to be tricky. Pry up on the two steel spring clips using a pick tool. After that, using a flathead screwdriver, wiggle gently to release the upper radiator hose. Again, using your pick tool and flathead screwdriver, let's remove the lower hose entering the expansion tank. Gently wiggle the hose free after prying up the steel spring clip using a pick tool. Now, remove the plastic duct for the alternator. Just detach both sides and remove from the engine bay. Using a flathead screwdriver, Locate and remove the hose on the bottom of the expansion tank and set it aside. Remove the one T25 Torx holding the radiator to your BMW. Then push the radiator back towards your engine. Now you want to remove the expansion tank and mounting plate from the radiator. There are two T25 Torx holding it in place. Now. Remove the harness for the coolant level sensor. Now we're ready to remove the expansion tank and mounting plate from your BMW. Drain the coolant from your stock radiator. A bucket will come in handy again, as well as the flathead screwdriver and Phillips head screwdriver. 
Use your pick tool and flathead screwdriver to remove the lower radiator hose. Pry up the steel spring clip using your pick tool. After that, use a flathead screwdriver and gently wiggle to release the lower radiator hose. Now, fully remove the stock radiator from your BMW. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the stock expansion tank from its mounting plate. Remove the steel spring clip and set it aside. You will be using that shortly. To remove the stock expansion tank, place a flathead screwdriver down by the lower ports and gently wiggle the expansion tank away from the ports. What you see here is the manual mounting plate, but if you own an automatic, you will have an automatic trans cooler on the mounting plate as well. Remove the stock coolant level sensor from your stock expansion tank and insert it into the Mishimoto expansion tank. What you are looking at are the new O-rings that come with the Mishimoto expansion tank. Attach the Mishimoto expansion tank onto your stock expansion tank mounting plate. Take a look at the back side of your expansion tank and locate the lip. You will insert that into the top larger square on the expansion tank mounting plate as shown here. Insert the steel spring clip you removed earlier into the Mishimoto expansion tank. Install the overflow hose onto the top of the Mishimoto expansion tank. You'll use the one provided Mishimoto worm gear clamp and a flathead screwdriver. Now you're ready to install your new Mishimoto radiator. Go ahead and attach the lower radiator hose. Install the Mishimoto expansion tank and mounting plate in your BMW. Tighten down the expansion tank mounting plate using the two provided Mishimoto 10mm bolts. One is located at the bottom of your mounting plate, while the other is located near the top. Reinstall the upper hose for the expansion tank. These will go into the expansion tank as shown here. You will hear them click when fully in place. Connect the radiator to the radiator support on the driver's side. Reuse the one T25 Torx you removed earlier. Then, reinstall the electrical harness for the coolant level sensor. Reattach the lower hose that connects to the expansion tank near the coolant level sensor. You should hear it click into place. Reinstall the alternator duct in your BMW. Reinstall the hose that connects to the port on the center of the expansion tank. You should hear it click into place. Go ahead and reinstall your airbox for your BMW. Reuse the three 10 mm nuts you removed earlier. Using your flathead screwdriver, go ahead and reinstall the worm gear clamp that attaches the intake boot to the housing for the mass airflow sensor. Then, install the Mishimoto fan shroud into your BMW. As shown here, be sure to seat the fan shroud into the tab. Install the pop clip on the driver's side of the fan shroud. Tighten down the fan shroud on the passenger side. Reuse that one T25 Torx you removed earlier. Go ahead and install the scoop for the intake using the three pop clips from earlier. Be sure to fill the system with coolant and test for any leaks before taking your BMW on a test drive. Along with filling with coolant, be sure to install the splash shield underneath your BMW. Use the seven Phillips quarter screws you removed earlier and your Phillips head screwdriver. Now that you finish up the install on your E46 non-M, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and fill and bleed your cooling system. For this, we're going to use Mishimoto's Liquid Chill Full Synthetic Engine Coolant. If you're not familiar with how to bleed your cooling system or you just need a quick refresher, check out our DIY video. Also, make sure to click subscribe.